From Massachusetts to Michigan, people are actually praying for an early onset of winter. That's because the first frost will mean the end of a deadly virus outbreak. It's called Triple E, and as Caitlin Burke reports, it's already taken the lives of nearly a dozen people nationwide. So Triple E virus is a mosquito-borne virus that occurs in the eastern half of the United States, and it's a uh, very rare disease. That's because the specific mosquito that carries Tripoli prefers to feed on birds. Connecticut mosquito expert Philip Armstrong became concerned early in the season when his department noticed an unusually high number of this species. We didn't have any evidence of Tripoli virus until later in the season, but we knew that the conditions were right. If the virus was brought in by a migratory bird, then it could spread like wildfire. And sure enough, that's what happened. The body's immune system can usually kill the infection, but about one in 20 cases develop the brain infection encephalitis. Once that happens, the odds of survival are slim. Typically on any given year, we average about seven human cases nationwide, um, but uh, it's a very severe disease and serious illness. Uh, it kills about a third of uh, those that develop the disease and of those that survive, many of them suffer from lifelong uh, neurological damage. In Connecticut, three of the four confirmed cases with Tripoli e have died. It starts off with a high fever, maybe a stiff neck, but then it will progress to confusion, uh, seizures, and even coma and, and death. Given the widespread severity, extra precautions are underway from New England to Michigan. While mosquito activity is finally winding down for the season, this year's outbreak won't be eliminated until the first hard frost. Until then, people in affected regions need to avoid mosquito bites. That could mean doing simple measures like covering up, wearing long sleeve pants and shirts and socks and shoes when you're outdoors, uh, particularly in the evening hours when they're most active, and consider wearing a repellent to any exposed skin surfaces as well, and that will do a long way to protecting you and your family. Scientists at the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Center have actually found that the Tripoli e virus can survive the winter, even though mosquitoes don't. That means that next summer we could be faced with another Tripoli e outbreak. Caitlin Burke, CBN News, New Haven.